today we are with Abhiram Loknathan. Abhiram has just made it to ISI Delhi. So firstly, many, many congratulations on this amazing feat, Abhiram. And, uh, thanks, thank you. and how does it feel? Um, I am excited. More excited to be back in Delhi than a uh, different <laughs> institution though. So yeah, excited and everything. Yeah. So uh, um, how are your parents excited? Are they more excited than you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're also excited and just a bit anxious of sending their son far away again. So, <laughs> oh, where are you uh, from? Uh, so I am, I've been born and brought up in Kochi, Kerala, but I did my undergrad at, uh, but I did my undergrad at SRCC, I did my corners there, so yeah. All right, so you went to my uh, my college and uh, some of your teachers are my friends, my batchmates. <laughs> yeah, right, right, should be. <laughs> yeah, all right, so Abhiram, let's, uh, you know, I want you to, you know, tell us um, that how hard do you think this is, because a lot of people think this is kind of unattainable. Some people tell me, ma'am, what's the point of even trying for this? You know, that there are going to be such few seats, why even try? And I kind of tell them that, okay, why do people try for uh, your civil services? <laughs> like, so, uh, how do you, how would you like to put that? Uh, well, ma'am, to look at it right now, I would say that ISI is uh, one of the uh, easiest papers to prepare for because the syllabus as such is very limited, right? You just yeah. do your bit of, uh, you have certain topics in micro and math and then very little amount of my macro and statistics which you need to focus on as far as your ISI exam is concerned. So there are just very limited topics that ISI generally asks in these exams and you just do those very well, very extensively and get your hands on every aspect of whatever could be asked from that specific, those specific topics. I think ISI is uh, easy enough to be attained. I agree. I actually think that too, uh, from the best institutes, if you if you think of like an IIT, IIT or, uh, you know, if you talk about civils or, uh, you know, getting into your, uh, just becoming a CA ranker or JE or whatever, uh, tracking a cat, out of all of these, I think this is the easiest thing to do. And, uh, you know, giving you that tag of being from ISI, giving you that opportunity, the starting salaries that, you know, a top institute provides, you get all of that for right. literally ISI is paying you a stipend to study. So 8,000 rupees a month you are earning already. And, yeah. you know, it is not that hard. So, uh, you know, it, I, I agree. I mean, this is literally the easiest thing that you can do. Mm -hmm. um, also, like, I, I did an e-commerce from uh, SRCC. So there was a bit of uh, course also which overlapped. So the course we did in college also overlapped kind of with the, um, ISI exam, so that kind of gave a leverage, but I'm pretty sure, like even if someone who doesn't have much, because I also had friends doing DCOM in my own college who used to prepare for ISI exam with us, and in fact there were a few who did, who had a better hand in certain aspects than what I did. So, yeah. uh, so in totality, yeah, so compared to IIT jam or CUET and so on, there's very specific topics that you need to do very well and you can track ISI that easily. So yeah. I agree with that point also, that being from ECO doesn't, it, you know everything, but it doesn't hmm. give you an upper hand as such because like you said, there are limited things and as long as you master those things, you could just be from about anywhere. It doesn't really yeah. matter whether you have an eco background or not. Yeah, because it kind of uh, became a bit uh, tedious for me to manage in my third year because third year we have entirely different set of papers to study in college and college teachers just keep pushing you to study that and at the same time you need to prepare for ISI also. So it kind of becomes uh, out of the hand at some point, but I don't know, somehow it just went through. I came second in, in the third year in SRCC. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love okay. economic systems and policy. I don't know what papers you have now, but I used to I used to really like those papers. <laughs> and especially for us, because ISI exam also, PEA comes right between our semester exams. So that was also a bit oh, of a really? problem. Yeah, so I had my Indian economics paper, then two days after it was ISI, and then three days after it was DeviCon. So <laughs> oh, that's hard. Right? Yeah, between exams is pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Because even Indian economy is something that you need to really do at the last moment. It's not something that you can, you know, really prepare completely early, exactly. uh, uh, from beforehand. You need to devote time at the end also. So that's, that's pretty challenging. It was, it was. So I think I kind of did a very extensive preparation for my IIT exam, like hmm. uh, in till Feb, and then did a bit more of uh, ISI focus, and then had to swivel back into Indian economy during April, April, May, and then come back for two days to ISI, and then fiddle back here and there. So, wow. uh, yeah, so that's... That, I, I don't know. I just had, I just survived through that. <laughs> wow. Quite tough. That's, I, that's really tough to have to be so, uh, you know, your, your head so much dis distributed in two places. That, okay, ye bhi karna hai, ye bhi karna hai. Uh, that's, that's really hard. Like uh, that is something I don't think I can handle. The last moment I need my focus, you know, if yeah. before, before an exam, I need my 15 days, 20 days where, you know, I do nothing else. So this is, this is really challenging. So, uh, but, but great, you managed it. And um, so, like you say, you said that you you kind of devoted a lot of time uh, with pre IIT because that was a lighter time for you when you could actually yeah, yeah. devote to your studies. That's what that's that that's what you did. 
यस यस सो या लाइक आई एनी वे हैड टू डू अ बिट ऑफ लेक्चर्स इन कॉलेज कॉलेज भी जाना था सो आई यूज्ड टू मॉर्निंग आई मॉर्निंग्स आई यूज्ड टू टेक लेक्चर्स इन कॉलेज एंड देन सिट इन द लाइब्रेरी विद माय फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टडी व्हाटएवर पेपर्स टॉपिक्स व्हाटएवर आई हैड फॉर आईआईटी आईआईटी जाम सो आईआईटी जाम इन इटसेल्फ हैज अ सेट ऑफ सिलेबस राइट एंड दैट इज एक्चुअली द मोस्ट एक्सपैंड मोस्ट वाइडेस्ट सिलेबस एनी ऑफ दिस एंट्रेंसेस हैव सो इफ यू काइंड ऑफ मास्टर एवरीथिंग इन आईआईटी जाम देन ऑल अदर कमिंग एग्जाम्स आल्सो काइंड ऑफ टेक गेट्स टेकन केयर ऑफ राइट So I did my IIT exam ka preparation that was so morning thoda classes in lectures in college then uske baad afternoon till late night I used to so in between just uh, so like RTL uh, oh, no, RTL was in DSC sorry did you study in the no. library yeah my college library yeah yeah so yeah. sit with like a six or uh, six or seven of us friends sit together and used to like read through pages look look at questions discuss to each other and do all that and so that was there then then I come back to my accommodation and sit uh, even till the evening till night um, so. That's what. So whenever I sat for studying, I gave my entire focus into whatever it is, whether it is solving questions, looking at previous papers, reading up on topics which I was missing on, or whatever. But I gave my hundred percent of uh, of that time into this. So uh, uh, in fact, something which I did was I used to sit right before sleeping. I used to sit and calculate. कल क्या क्या करना है? So I'll say like, कल मुझे दो लेक्चर सेट करना है. Then I have to send like do some other college admin work or whatever. और उसके बाद इतना इतना topics करना है. Something like variant का दो chapter करना है. उसके बाद I also need to look at um, Nicholas Smith's letter. So I used to make a chart for each day. So uh, from morning eight to ten, I need to attend lecture. Then eleven to twelve, I need to be in the library studying this particular topic. उसके बाद घर जाना है, वापस जाना है, lunch करना है. So all these things I used to chart out, and I also used to completely adhere to this chart what I had prepared. So this kind of uh, helps you to manage your day without wasting it, and to also keep a track on what you are doing. So uh, like what are so you might think that you have say this much chapters or these many topics to cover, but how are you covering them? Are you actually covering them? This does not. So when I made my chart, this also got kind of covered up. So if any day the topic didn't get covered, so I used that for the next. I take it over for the next day and study from that also. So it just went that way. Hmm. So uh, Abhiram, so I'll, I'll just ask you a couple of questions that students keep on asking me. For example, people yeah. keep asking me, you know, books. Which one should I refer to? And I usually say that you know, every book is good. Whatever you are comfortable with, you know, it's not that man. If you study, then it won't be good. 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 If you No, not nest, not quite. I just refer to so micro ke liye I had Nicholson and Schneider, macro ke liye Blanchard and uh, non Bush mainly. Yeah. Stats ke liye Davor and math ke liye. Six uh, seater. Six seater, yeah. Huh. That's all. The main key textbooks are the ones I refer to. All right. And then okay. extra, extra topics specifically I had doubt. Yeah. Just look at look up. Yeah, that's what I said. You. Correct. So follow one book and then extra topics idhar idhar se kardo. I mean, I I also yeah. think that works the best. And uh, also and uh, another yeah. Uh, and then more specifically, so I just. Wanted to do more and more questions, so I specifically used to Google for worksheets in differential equation, worksheets in uh, consumer theory, and so on. So I used to get like whatever US universities' ka question sets, MCQs, and so on. So I also practice from those. Yeah, they're very helpful. So um, there's also open courseware also, so you could always use that. So um, yeah. and and what about uh, notes? So this is another question people keep asking me, and which I sometimes also feel it's a very personal thing. How do you prepare your yeah. notes? But what's what's kind of your take on it that? Uh, If uh, is there a particular way you would suggest to make notes or some any time saving technique? Let's say somebody is facing the same situation as you that they have to do a part of the preparation earlier because uh, crunch time they don't have that liberty. So is there any particular way that you would like to suggest or you say uh, or you know what something that you used? Uh, well, to be fair, I am a very lazy person. I don't like taking notes. Uh, so uh, I just so I just scribble down certain things which are necessary to be remembered on. So I just need to refer back. So certain important equations, formulas, and so on. I just note them down and then. especially and also for parts like indian economy which is very important for cuet and iit jam and so on i just uh, write down certain key pointers for all that but okay. apart from that i have never made very extensive notes because uh, okay. well, even for indian that. economy you just put down the pointers to like refer back to later yeah, on yeah so i just uh, so indian economy also i just uh, glance different questions and different notes and all that so whatever that i find to be uh, important or something which i not remember i'll write them down mm. And which book? Because that's that is something again people keep asking me. I'm Indian economy. Kile, which book? Kare. So, any what would you suggest? Uh, so I just refer to some uh, Indian economy books which are prescribed for SSC, UPSC, and so on. Okay. So SSC, UPSC, JRF also they have very extensive question banks, right? So I just refer to those question banks and based on that. Yeah, that's a, I think that's a great strategy. Also because NTA sets the paper, so their tendency to be similar to the other exams is also. Yeah, also because uh, as far as Indian economy is very vast, so you just can't go and read ten books, ten fat books on Indian economy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> because there are many things to do. Correct. Uh, so correct. 
just because of better smart work there just look at indian economy questions alone don't go for extensive studying of indian economy at that point yeah i i i'd also recommend that that you could probably study what is already coming similar to that you could study instead of trying to find like you know read through a lot of books because it's just it's just too much it's just too vast and you don't even know even if you do a lot how much is that really going to contribute to finally you uh, getting good marks yeah exactly. so yeah so great sounds good abiram and uh, anything any tips on interview preparation uh, i said interview yeah. well uh, absolutely something i just need to say is that uh, the help that uh, samita sir and you gave for our interview preparation was absolutely so helpful okay. every single point that Sam- samita sir said to be noted during the interview actually paid a lot so yeah. something i just wanted to say say my delight on that and yeah so i said interview is not very daunting as many other interviews i have been to so professors are very chill they just give you one question which you need to solve on the board and again professors help us a lot so i got a question on industrial organization yeah all the polika a question part so i kind of solved the first part and the second part i was a bit confused with the second part so then the professor himself helped me out and he asked me to think on certain lines so i just tried i explained certain things and he said think a bit more on this aspect of it so it's basically an interaction kind of an interview where the professors help you to arrive at the answer rather than just you saying something and they firing at you and it's very chill very cool it's yeah. very i was absolutely not tense during my entire interview that's good to hear uh, because, and i think that's been the similar experience for everyone not just you they were all put to ease they were all made very comfortable like i said you know while preparing they're not there to eat you they don't want to they do not want to insult you they don't want to be little you they just want to you know know you a little better so it's uh, it's fine so i think and everybody i think has unanimously said that the one thing common was that it uh, they made you very comfortable so yeah yeah absolutely absolutely yeah i i, I said i think one of the easier interviews like it, other institutes sometimes really grill you you know they would throw questions <laughs> at you depending on who the panel is sometimes three questions four questions and then they would go inside but that doesn't really happen with isai it's a very uh, yeah, yeah it's it's not it's not a very tough interview so great abiram thank you so much anything else any last tips on how to manage the stress how to manage you know uh, everything going on how to avoid distractions if there's anything that you'd like to say on that uh, yeah, so basically as far as preparation is concerned just focus on as i said be completely thorough of what is the syllabus for each exam mm-hmm. and understand what is that what are the topics for that exam which which are your weak points so i had certain topics in micro certain topics in math which i was not comfortable with so i first of all i identified those uh, weak points and i i specifically gave too much effort in correcting them by also ensuring that i get a hang of everything but i also don't lose marks in these these topics mm. and then as the stress and management part is concerned so i just had like a few bunch of friends who were my everything so i just couldn't leave my college leave my that a bit of that little bit of fun i had in my life i did not want to lose that also so that is the reason why i was so persistent and going to college every day attending my lectures being with those few good people of my life and then just so those three four hours of happiness in the morning and then coming back and cramming your head so right. those few hours of happiness in the morning made me go on till night so that was how i just survived so that was that was kind of a de stress also it is also important to have a de stressing thing because you can't just keep uh, because you have to be at it for a long period of time it's not you yeah, know a yeah. short journey you have to study for one year properly so you have Absolutely. to have your stress busters so also was almost entirely focused on preparation right yeah. from like fully in preparation from october at least last year right so and how to study and, right uh, studying and then in between just going and hanging out with friends and doing a bit of stress relief there and then coming back again Correct. again banging that's what exactly. i agree and how about distraction social media how do you keep safe yourself because that's an endless pit it's a bottomless pit you keep going and going at it so uh, did any specific strategies to manage that um not exactly so generally i'm uh, not very active on social media just a bit of whatsapp or instagram or whatever so i just had a timer on my phone <laughs> which limited whatsapp to 1 hour instagram to 15 minutes and not more than that so uh, really how do you do that <laughs> <laughs> well, WhatsApp because I also needed to communicate college yeah. matters with people, right? So WhatsApp to that, and Instagram I have not been very active there since beginning. So I just uh, put this timer and had to impose myself into that. That's uh, that sounds something that even I need to do. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Exam I completely lost it. Now I I don't know. I lose like three hours, four hours, whatever. But yeah, I. And I Netflix guess. distractions, Netflix and Amazon Prime and whatever. I don't know how many else are there. Z five, Sony Live, cricket yeah. matches, IPLs, whatever. So yeah, so I used to like watch different stuff in between also. So like, uh, you study from two to four in the evening, and then uh, have I having your evening tea? Just watch a bit of video or whatever. And then so I think one important point where I also uh, failed, kind of start began failed was like, so you think you watch video for fifteen minutes, and then that fifteen minutes becomes two hours. So mm. uh, again, for this I also had my friends who used to like just. Um, so I had this one friend who was not preparing for any exam, like she was doing something else. So she used to like regularly text me, "Yeah, you're studying now. Yeah, you said you need to study these two things. Did you study those two things?" She used to oh. ask me. That's also. Oh, so you had someone like check on you? 
yeah, kind of. Uh, so we just like someone who ensured that I am accountable to myself. So that is also nice. That is also nice. So did you like kind of send your daily plan to them that this is what I'm supposed to do, or was it just general? No, no, in general. So I just used to say that I need to study today, and then uh, someone or the other of one of my friends used to text asking, "Did you study today?" That's all. So that's nice. So that you, everybody knew. Okay, okay. This is this is serious. This is serious. He needs to do this. If he needs to get into, uh, you know, a premier institute, then he better do this. And they were willing to uh, do their bit into making sure that you were on track. That's that's also nice. Sweet and nice. <laughs> nice. So great chatting, Abhiram. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, yes, pleasure. I'm, I'm sure you. you'll have a great time at ISI. I really like ISI as a place. Uh, <laughs> that you know, in a smaller batch. I think that's really the key there. It's a smaller batch. So sure, you'll have a great time. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.